The Magic Crayon Welcome to Amorous Creation, where magic and imagination come to life. Tonight, we have a special bedtime story just for you. So, snuggle up, get cozy, and let's embark on a magical adventure together. Once upon a time, in a cozy little town nestled between rolling hills and shimmering streams, there lived a curious and creative girl named Lily. Lily was five years old and loved to draw more than anything in the world. Every day, she would take out her box of crayons and fill pages upon pages with colorful creations, flowers, rainbows, and castles in the sky. One sunny afternoon, while exploring the attic of her old, creaky house, Lily stumbled upon a dusty, forgotten box. It was hidden behind an old rocking chair, covered in cobwebs. With a sense of excitement, she opened the box and found a single, gleaming crayon inside. This crayon was different from any she had ever seen. It shimmered with a magical glow, as if it held secrets untold. Lily's eyes widened with wonder as she carefully picked up the crayon. I wonder what I can draw with this, she thought. She decided to try it out right away and ran downstairs to her drawing table. As soon as she touched the paper with its tip, something amazing happened. The lines she drew began to dance and swirl, lifting off the page and coming to life. First, she drew a bright yellow sun, and to her amazement, it floated up and shone in her room, casting a warm, golden light. Next, she drew a field of colorful flowers, and they sprang up around her, their sweet scent filling the air. Lily was thrilled. With her magic crayon in hand, she decided to go on an adventure. She drew a big, beautiful door and stepped through it into a world filled with enchantment. In this magical world, the grass was as soft as pillows, and the sky was a brilliant shade of blue. She met a friendly dragon named Draco, who had sparkling green scales and gentle eyes. Draco loved to fly through the sky, creating rainbow trails with his wings. Would you like to join me for a ride? He asked. Lily nodded eagerly and climbed onto Draco's back. Together, they soared through the clouds, the wind whispering in their ears. They flew over mountains and rivers, discovering hidden valleys and secret forests. Draco showed Lily a hidden waterfall that glistened like diamonds, and they played in its cool, refreshing spray. As the day turned into evening, Draco took Lily to meet the Fairy Queen in her magical garden. The Fairy Queen had wings that shimmered like the finest silk and a crown made of flowers. She welcomed Lily with a warm smile and invited her to a grand feast under the twinkling stars. The fairies danced and sang, their laughter filling the night with joy. Lily's heart was full of happiness. She realized that her magic crayon had given her the chance to experience something truly wonderful. But as the night grew late, she knew it was time to return home. With a gentle hug, Lily thanked Draco and the Fairy Queen for the incredible adventure. She drew a door with her magic crayon and stepped back into her own room. As soon as she did, the drawings on her paper settled back into place, as if nothing had ever changed. That night, as Lily lay in bed, she heard a soft whisper in the air. It was the voice of the crayon, speaking to her for the first time. Celebrate the magic of imagination, it said, but remember, true magic lies within your heart. With those words echoing in her mind, Lily realized that the real magic wasn't in the crayon itself, but in the power of her imagination and the love she poured into her drawings. She drifted off to sleep with a smile, dreaming of new adventures. And so, our magical journey comes to an end. But remember, my dear friends, the power of imagination is always within your reach. So, keep dreaming, keep creating, and let your imagination soar. And 
Until next time, sweet dreams from Amorous Creation.